So it is another day, another day in paradise. Any day that the sun is shining and we're outside is a good day. So we're headed up to Eureka, the most dangerous city in the world. I don't even know where that's at. Somewhere over that I, way. I know where it's at. I've had a whole lot of gravel up in there. So Hillbilly's gonna be our, our guider today. But we got King Fred here and we got Kid Steer with winch box. We're headed for an RV. It's about all we know. I was gone last week. I was down at Disneyland with my kids and call came in and they waited. So it was in the mud. Now it's cemented in. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. So we're gonna head up, try to get that thing out of the mud and get them back on their way. So let's go. You ready to roll, Hillbilly? Let's go. All right, so we are off, finally. <laughs> uh, we plan to leave at nine. It's 10.30, typical morning here. If we can only stop time. I know. You know what? Five. A very wise individual told me once, you only have so much time, so exchange your time wisely. And we're exchanging our time wisely today because we're going on a recovery. Everybody likes recoveries. All right, so we're pulling into Maverick, just like always. Adventure's first stop. We're gonna get us some fuel, and I, I believe we're headed, we're headed west of Eureka. We're still 41 minutes away. We're gonna have to kill some time. Maybe Colton can go through and find some questions. We'll do a Q&A with you guys. Maybe something to latch on to. So we're gonna hurry and fuel up, grab some snacks and some waters, and we'll be back on the road. All right, we're just filling up old Freddy Poo. Last time we filled it up was when we and Hillbilly went on a recovery. So let's see how much fuel we used. Coming all the way up to Santa Quinn. And we drove to Santa Quinn. Santa Quinn. Santa Quinn? Santa Quinn. All right, three gallons almost. <laughs> 14 gallons. 14 gallons. So like, you're almost empty. Is the 16 gallon tank? 16 or 18. Oh, so not too bad. No. But good thing we still. <laughs> yeah, no, but we wouldn't make it. We can go back here, I bet. All right, so we're all filled up. I have no idea how much diesel we'll put in because we put four and a half gallons of gas. We're gonna go and find this RV and get this thing unstuck out of the concreted dirt. Oh, dude, there's that taco stand that we ate at before. Remember when we went out to Casey Fields? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I definitely have to hit that place. All right, so if, we, if we're victorious on this rescue, we're coming back and we're getting some tacos at that little taco shack. Done deal, that's our, that's our reward. But hey, remember on that video, not our normal video, we asked people for some questions. Why don't we do some random, just let's ask some questions, answer some questions, or let's answer some questions for the people. A little bit of time because we still got like 45 minutes till we're there. All right, let's hear it. Okay, so a question here is from Eric Armstrong, 1973. He says, We all need a break and love the video from the shop project tour. One question for the QA How did you and the boss meet? How did me and the boss meet? So, kind of the cool thing about a little small town is everybody grows up together. So, Damri is actually my little, my little sister's age. I have a little sister named Angie. She's three years younger than me. And so I knew who Demery was. We grew up together. I mean, we didn't really, we weren't like hangout friends, but I knew who she was and she knew who I was. And it just so happened that in our twenties, we were able to reconnect and would love it. Probably first sight, I'm sure. I'm sure that was how it was for her, but we reconnected and yeah, now we're here. So it's been awesome. Best 10 years of my life. All right, second question. Okay, this one's from Gravity. He says, Robbie, whoever broke your Jeep tailgate, make them come and help you fix it. Now, are you trying to tell me that if you get into a car crash, the person that hits you is supposed to fix your vehicle? That's not how that works. We'll go ahead and get it fixed, no problem. So as soon as we get it back from Matt's, we're gonna be putting a new rear lift gate on it. And this is a reminder to the fan that I gave two hats to at the off-road games. You know who you are. You were supposed to send me a lift gate in exchange for two hats and no lift gate has showed up. Just remember a deal's a deal. You were gonna ship it to me. You know who you are and then I can fix it. So anyway, have no fear for our expertise will take care of Deja Blue Dory. 
Oh, I got talked to last night by by Adley. She is super mad that I'm even allowing anybody to vote on Deja Blue or Dory the Explorer because she told me it is Dory the Explorer. That is that final, no questions asked. So I said, okay, Adley, calm down. Everything's fine. So we're gonna have to see about that. Anyway, next question. Okay, next question is from Sutton7864. He says, what is Hillbilly's origin story and how did he become part of the team? Very curious, thank you. What is Hillbilly's origin story? Well, since Hillbilly came into this world, Hillbilly has been a Hillbilly. But in his adult life, he was a truck driver. Loved his CDL, hated being away from his family. So about eight years ago, I put out a call to action to the local community and I said, hey, I've got some temporary work for the next seven days. I need like four people to come and help me rip out some flooring. It was when I was adding on to my shop. Anyway, so Hillbilly and a couple other guys showed up and Hillbilly and one of the other guys worked their butts off. And I hired the other guy full time and he stuck around for a couple of years. But anyway, Hillbilly worked his butt off and then went back to trucking. And then I ended up hiring him as my derby car builder. So he was seasonal. He would come on in the off season of trucking and he would build derby cars for me. Then it kind of evolved into a full-time position. So he was full-time when the shop burnt down. And then when the shop burnt down, he went back to trucking. And then once we rebuilt the shop, he came back. He's been full-time because he hated being away from his family and being on the road five days a week. And now he's on the channel. So that's basically it. It's not that cool of a story, but now you know his origin. But, one more question. Okay, one more question. Okay, so we got a question from Graham Bradley. He says, here's a question for you, Robbie. I've got a shop on my property. Nothing huge, but big enough to comfortably me to a project car. I've always envisioned rebuilding a 60s or 70s mo car with my boys. And now they are close to that age. I need to get basic basics, like a jack, stands, etc. I also need to get a compressor, an impact wrench, grinder, cherry picker, all that stuff. I'm basically starting from a zero with fundamental automotive tool set. So what brands, models would you recommend and are there any other tools I should research on? Oh, this is an easy one. You set yourself up for this answer. Literally go down to your local Harbor Freight. They have everything you need from beginner's tools to advanced professional's tools. They've got Icon, they've got Daytona jacks, they've got jack stands, they've got high lift jacks, they've got low profile jacks, they have cherry pickers. Pretty much you can go and tool yourself up for your basic needs on a pretty low budget. So head down to Harbor Freight, get yourself tooled up and start working. All right, that's the questions for today. Cool. I think we just, approached... I think we just we're gonna meet up with the customer and figure out where their RV is and go get them out. How's it going? Glad to see you. You must be who's stuck. Yeah. My name's Russ, nice to meet you. I'm Robbie. Yeah, we've uh, I've been hand digging and oh, we broke a ton of stuff and I dented my truck when the soft shackle broke and oh, no. it shot the the rope back at me, so I've... We'll have to check that out in a little bit. I'm sure you guys got <laughs> the equipment to do it. Yes, um, how far, so my Google Maps, if it's not lying, it says we're... In two miles, two miles. turn right. Yeah, yeah. So it's, to, it's to a pin, so hopefully that's accurate, but how muddy is it? Uh, the road, so I can take you to the, the turnoff and you'll be good with all this until it splits. Okay, so there will be a spot that we can unload? Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. Well then let's go to that and then we'll regroup and find it. All right, good. So, Appreciate you. Okay, thank you. Anyway, all right, we just met up with a customer. Um, now let me tell you a little bit about this. So I've been gone, like I've said in the last couple of videos, I took 10 days off to go be with my family and just disconnect. Ooh, we got the whole tailgate. Ooh. We're going to have to take a look at that, where his soft shackle, he said he had a soft shackle failure. So we're going to have to take a look at that and see why that soft shackle failed and the damage it created on his tailgate. That sucks. So I took, I took a solid 10 days off. We disconnected from YouTube. We disconnected from the Camry, from the camera. And we just went and we were a family and we hung out at Disneyland and hung out in California and just did family stuff. Everybody needs to take time for their family. It was the first time we've taken a vacation in three years as a family, and I can't wait to do it again. I'm not waiting three more years. I mean, we work our butts off, and I'm going to start enjoying it. Enough about that. They got a hold of us last Tuesday, so seven days ago, and they said they've broke winch lines, they broke soft shackles, they broke a rope, they dented their truck, 
we cannot get this RV out. And this stuck pretty good. So that was a week ago. Now it's cemented in and we're hoping to save the day. You just never know. But well, we got the tools for the job. We got the team for the job. We got Hillbilly and Old Fred. And we got Colton here slinging that camera like he does best. And you got me again. Sorry for that. But anyway, we're gonna come down this road. Um, he's about two miles down. He said there's a Y in the road. So we're gonna stop at the fork in the road and unload and go get his RV. What do you think, Colton? Are we gonna get it? Yeah, we're gonna get it because I wanna go back to that taco stand. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't remind me. And look, Colton got himself a piece of pizza. And this piece of pizza is going to get cold because <laughs> as soon as he saw tacos, game yeah. over. All right, guys, so here's the deal. This is how it usually goes. We end up being the last call. If you're stuck, call us. I mean, this guy, it was unfortunate because it's been sitting for over a week. Today's Tuesday. He got stuck last Monday and they were willing to wait, which we appreciate because then we can come out and we can show you guys and bring you along. But anyway, they got they got the RV stuck with the trailer. They were able to get the trailer unhooked, hook it to another vehicle. That vehicle got stuck. They brought a Jeep out, got that one unstuck. His truck had a 27 foot V nose toy hauler on it. That got stuck. They were able to get it out. Broke a winch line, broke a soft shackle off of Amazon. Now I'm telling you guys, proper equipment. Don't buy garbage off Amazon. It's just garbage. Buy from a reputable company. I love Yankum ropes. I use Factor 55. Just get something of decent quality so you don't get injured and your truck doesn't get injured. So the back of this truck is all smashed in, but luckily nobody was hurt. So anyway, we're bringing the 15,000 pound winch box. We got old Fred with us and we're just gonna go have some fun and get this thing unstuck. And we're getting tacos. <laughs> that, yeah. That's what really matters here. We're getting some tacos. So the plan, the goal, or the accomplishment goal or reward we get this thing unstuck minimum damage done hey the question is never should we eat tacos it's always the answer yes we're eating tacos as long as it has horchata um, i don't know if they do but you know what Even if it's, it's like a taco trailer I'm oh hillbilly yeah. wasn't there huh hillbilly wasn't there when we saw oh it. you weren't there we stopped at this taco stand before is it good yeah. yes Here's the deal, guys. Okay, we're there for the tacos, and Hillbilly's gonna be super pumped if there's horchata. Yeah, that's the extra, extra yeah, plus. Perfect. Now, dip it. Hillbilly's off like a herd of turtles. So me and Colton swapped over to old, old Fred. Oh yeah. Good yeah. old Frederick. This guy's pretty excited we're here. And you know what's cool? This guy watches our channel. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate it. I'm not gonna lie, the wind is freezing, so I put a jacket on. I'm not Hillbilly above it though. Yeah. I'm not above it. I'm just saying. You guys wanna know the Hillbilly's life hack? Use my boot as a Stanley cup holder. Wanna know another fun fact? Since you guys got Hillbilly teeth, he only drinks water. And before that, he never drank a drop of water in his life if it didn't come through Mountain Dew. <laughs> Good job, Hillbilly. Good job. This smells like a like a woman wore my jacket. It smells fruity. I don't know if you guys could see or tell, but straight on the winch box is broken. It needs to be fixed. It's about to fall off. Every time I hit a bump, it's about to smack the ground. That's not good. We need to get it fixed because this is a very important machine that we use quite a bit. And that's a safety device to keep whoever's running the skid steer protected. So if the winch cable snaps, it hits that grate, not coming into the cab and hit the operator. So we need to get it fixed like ASAP. I'm kind of curious on how big this motorhome is. I haven't seen pictures, nothing. I didn't even know what was recovering until this morning. And Robbie says, oh, we got a recovery and it's a motorhome. So I'm really curious if it's a great big one, medium, little, but I guess we'll find out here in a real quick short. There's the Allegro. Let's go check it out. Oh. He's a beaut, Clark. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, you've got a, do you have access to put a pin in that front hitch? Uh, you'll have to, I'll pop the hood and you can look at it because if I can get, do we I have one of my, on, but you have to check let it me look out. at it. Maybe, I'll, maybe we'll go to suspension, but my first thought is possibly putting in a tow point in there. 
Yeah, because I put my dirt bike on the carrier on the oh. front. And so it, it's worked for that so far. Yeah. Huh. Oh, look at you. <laughs> so stuck. Well, hey, good news. You're not, your drive line's not in the mud like I thought it was. Oh, good. I'm thinking the skid steer just low here, coming in and pulling sideways. And then I'll just turn around and let's go sideways and forward. I think we have a game plan. All right, so we're going to have Hillbilly start digging right here so we can get to the lower A-arm. I think we're just going to pull off the A-arms and try to get under that bumper as low as possible. And then what I'll probably have to do, Hillbilly, is we'll stake that down to the wheel lift. We're going to have to snatch block it and go as low as possible. We're going to put Hillbilly to work for a minute while we get everything in position. We're going to have him jump in and just make sure it still starts. If it's dead and we got to pull it dead, we can do it, but it's much better with the help. Oh, yeah. So we haven't blown it up yet. That's lucky. But anyway, we'll get a little bit more dug out. And we'll get this thing strapped up and start figuring out our pulls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna anchor myself in right now. That's the coolest thing we've ever got. See, it's got a little bit of pressure. Now I'm gonna try to back it into the dirt. Yeah, right. dug right. Good, that's what we wanted. We wanted that to be anchored so that we're solid. Now what we gotta do, I'm gonna re, well, actually I think we'll be low enough with the boom the way it is. We'll pull cable. We're gonna get hooked up to the front. Yeah, this is fun. Okay. All right, we've got spread all figured out, but now we're gonna get the cat. I think what we're gonna do is put it up on the bank and bring the bucket down here while the winch, and then we're gonna do a side pull. So Hillbilly's gonna get that into position and then we'll get the winch box hooked up and we'll hook up Fred and hopefully walk this thing out. We got one strap in the side box. I think what we ought to do is just go to the frame and just do a side pull, just a straight side pull. Well, I'll try getting that cable as close to the ground as possible. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm thinking if you go up on the bank and then roll it down, we'll watch. So let's get that. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so now I'm getting the skid steer all put in position. So that way I can start pulling from the side and Robbie's gonna be in King Fred pulling forward. So as Robbie's pulling forward, I'll be pulling sideways, but also releasing a little bit. Never mind. I was trying to pull straight up the hill, but it's a little steeper than I thought, and I about willied over. So now we're getting in position. All right, so we're going to try to get hooked up somewhere. Okay. All right, so I found a spot. I think the safest spot is gonna be on the cross member for the transmission. It's lower than the frame, but I think that'll work. But all we want, all we're doing with this is just some side pressure. Yeah, you're getting tired hey, hold right it, there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, we're getting pressure. All right, so we got that. Put a little bit of pressure. Hold it, hold it. So all we want is some side pressure as I'm going forward. All right, so let's go grab. Hey, Robert. Yeah. Oh. Now you're supposed to drop down my phone that's my money maker all right now we need to get the front all hooked up hillbilly can you get out oh i don't know why i'm screaming we have headsets <laughs> can you get out <laughs> come help me all right i sort of forgot that we have headsets so i was screaming at hillbilly but we're gonna get this front all hooked up Maybe scream a little louder next time we hear you. <laughs> we need three of these? I just grabbed them in case. Oh, you're gonna make me climb in the hole. Well, you dug the hole. You already laid them down. It. No, it's it's the size for you. Yeah. Yeah, but you're smaller than I am. Oh. Let's go to that lower control arm. We just gotta be very, very cautious of how it's pulling. I don't even see low, low control. Okay, hold on. Let me get in here. Rude. We're working out. Let me in there. We're giving Hillbilly the old boot. He dug himself a hole so he could lay in there, but he didn't dig it the right size. So we're currently trying to figure out how to hook this side because the control arm is still in the mud. Hey, once we get pulled out of this hole, it's gonna be a lot easier to get under there. Yeah. All right. Whoa. We got it hooked in an unconventional spot, but it'll work. So we got to try to equal our lengths out. 
Then we got to make sure we don't break the bumper. We got to make sure we don't break the side. But thankfully, we have 1050 million saw shackles from Yankum Ropes. We're going to try to single line it first. What means it pulled down from some point so far? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll grab that in a second. So, the reason we do this and just winch it out, there is a quick release on that winch, but it's so old that it takes forever to get it back engaged. So, I'd rather just pull. What we're gonna do is we'll get this hooked up. We're gonna grab our snatch block with a chain, snatch block down so that we have a low pull. So while you guys wait on me getting this cable out, I'd like to thank today's sponsor and let's talk about it. That took a minute, literally 60 seconds, but we've got it hooked up and now we'll go grab our snatch block. We'll get this thing all figured out. And now it's time for the magic. Here we have our redirect. So this is not gonna double the pulling power. All this is gonna do is redirect our cable down and get it low. So that's about as low as we're gonna get it. So now let's winch that in. Hold it. All right, so we got everybody in position. We got Russ inside of the steering wheel. Hillbilly's over in the kicks here and I'm at the truck. So we're gonna see what it does. Like you said earlier, we're doing the single line first to see if we can pull it. All right, so as you can see, we're just moving it. So what we're gonna do is we are going to chalk the wheel. We're gonna use the chalk blocks. Let's grab them, hook them up, and then we'll back up on them, set them, and that should keep us from moving. From moving. We're going to try one more thing before we tie off the front of the tow truck. We're going to pull some side pressure and forward and see if it'll move it. Okay, so Robbie's going to start pulling forward, and I want to start kind of pulling sideways a little bit. Okay, hold up, hold up. Hey, Russ, give it a little. It's starting to come out really nice, and uh, nothing's broken yet, which we hope it stays that way. We always hope that we break nothing or damage anything. All right, so it's, it's doing what we want it to. Um, it's starting to come up. So Hillbilly's just giving it a little bit of pressure. Oh, here it comes. Look, it's coming out. All right, so now that we've just about got it out of the hole, I'm gonna disconnect the skid steer. It did what we needed it to. We needed that side pull with our front pull. Once we got this thing scotch blocked and the back dug in, it just did what it needed to do. King Fred did King Fred things. So we're gonna go and hook that, and then we'll get Russ out of here. I mean, this is coming right out. All right, hopefully we let it out. Look at that. Oh, I see why your exhaust, why your generator doesn't work. Your exhaust is packed full. All right, so we're just going to rewind our cable because we're done with the skid loader. You always want to make sure your cable is tracking in correctly or you're going to have close. So we always do this before we get done because it gets forgotten. All right, so skid steer's day is done. Now all we got to do is finish getting this thing out and we're home free. All right, so now just simple winch out. We're going to get this thing pulled out. I'll have Hillbilly, stand over here, Hillbilly, you'll watch, make sure we're not gonna break anything, and then Colton go to the rear, make sure that that comes right out. All right, wasn't too bad, got it. So we're gonna get everything cleaned up, get our winch back in, and we're gonna make sure they get out to the main road. I don't think they'll get stuck, but you never know. So Hillbilly, how old that? Very easy but very precise. He looks so relaxed inside of the skid steer, just AC blasting. Oh, I love that skid steer. And it's all about the angles and connections. Make sure you have them correctly, or else they can very, turn very, very bad. I went out like this and go bad in a hurry. Okay, so we got your vehicle out, well, your big RV. So, what was your thoughts when we first pulled up? I was, I was very thankful I was able to get a hold of you guys uh, that come out, because I knew, I knew as long as I've worked on it, I knew it was going to take some uh, specialty equipment and uh, because it wasn't going anywhere. And uh, the more it dried, the more more stuck it was. And uh, yeah. Definitely seemed like you struggled a lot 
Yeah, I broke two winch lines, two steel winch lines, broke soft shackle, dented my truck. Uh, sometimes it's hard to have fun, and mm -hmm. and I got to tell you, this is probably not any fun at all. <laughs> yeah, well, we appreciate that you actually call us. <laughs> all right, so we got it out. So thanks, Russ, for calling us. <laughs> Thank you for coming yeah. out. I'm so, very thankful. And luckily, we were in a hurry and we forgot a shirt, so we talked to them. We're going to ship them a shirt for their 11-year-old son. We're going to sign it. So if you guys get stuck, make sure you give us a call. We'll come help you guys out. But we're going to follow them out, get back to the truck, load it up, and then we're headed for tacos. So thanks again. Hey, thanks a lot. Man. Appreciate it. You want to know the best part about right now? We're that much closer to tacos. Yeah. El Pancho Mexican food. Must be a YouTuber. Maybe. Taco time. As a sweet reward. All right, so I'm, I gotta talk to you guys. You know that we love tacos and we love Mexican food. So we're here in Santa Quinn. There's a taco truck. It's called El Poncho Mexican food. It's delicious. I would almost say if I had churros, it'd give the Taco Santa Vegas run for its money. Gotta try it if you guys are ever in Santa Quinn, Utah. But it's time to head home. Good morning. I can say good morning. Good morning. It's 7 a.m. and we got this little boy out of bed because we got a weekend recovery. So we got Colton with us and we got little Riker. I woke Riker up so early today and he wasn't planning on it, but he's coming with us because we need a cameraman. And we like Riker. It's Saturday morning. Couldn't get there anybody else on the team to come with us. But we got a car stuck over on Miller Flat or Miller Mountain or something. I don't know. My friend Bo from the search and rescue called me last week. Said they just rescued a guy, drove his Mazda up the wrong road and got it stuck. So I don't even think it's that bad. If a Mazda can make it to where it's stuck, King Fred can make it where the Mazda's stuck. We gotta go all the way across, down through Gunnison and up through Fayette to get to it. So you're gonna come hang out with us for a little bit. So is Riker. Beautiful morning. Ooh. Oh, King, oh, there we go, King Fred. It's finally was quiet. Fred was screaming, I ain't, I ain't ready to go. Oh, I need your money, Colton. I have to use Colton's money. My car doesn't work. I make my employees pay for gas. Thank you. The last time we drove this all the way out to Eureka. We haven't filled it up yet, have we? I don't think, I don't think we filled it up. I'm trying to remember. Might have to look back in the archives, back in the old videos. Let's back up in San Did we? Yep, and then okay. drove home. All right, so we might not need that much. But anyway, we're going to fill old King Fred up. We're going to run in, grab some road snacks, maybe a little breakfast. We're going to hit the road. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. We got another early birder, but he's headed to work to actually work. See that little, that cute little gladiator? There he is. Well, good morning. Must not have filled up nine gallons. Oh, yeah. The puppy was almost empty. Hey, we got to see Sean this morning. Today's going to be a good day. He's going to the shop to actually work. We're going to play in the sandbox. We got some snacks. We got Riker some snacks. See, this is how we pay a little Riker for coming with us. We buy him some road snacks. The castle. If you guys are bad, you can get free housing at the Central Utah Correctional Facility. Don't be bad, Riker. Don't be bad, Riker. We don't want you living in the prison, in the clink. You guys may not know, but we live right by the prison. And the prison actually is probably one of the biggest employers in the county for the local economy. Lots of people I know are security guards. So anyway, just made it to Gunnison. We're gonna turn and double back up into Fayette. So I've got the coordinates. It is up Miller Canyon. I punched it into good old trusty Google. A route can't be shown because of a problem connecting to the server. Well, it's because it's up the canyon. Google's no help. So, punched it into Onyx. 
it's going to show me all the trails that we can use and the roads. So I know that I need to turn up here on Miller Canyon Road, 7.7 .7 miles all the way to the top where the car is stuck at. So thank you, Onyx Off-Road, for coming to clutch today. So it looks to me like this is the turnoff. So before I go being dumb, I know we're gonna lose service, so I'm gonna grab myself an offline map of the area that we're going into, just to be safe. So the cool thing about Onyx is I can center up, look at that, I've got an eight mile radius map. I'm gonna save it, Mazda recovery. So after you've selected your area, you download the map, make sure you download it before you lose service, or you're not gonna have it. That's the whole point of an offline map, is to have it when you're offline, but you gotta get it while you're online. And I'm gonna pin this location and drop a waypoint. I know right where the stuck Mazda is at. Let's get to it. Maybe they were trying to go to Manti on this road. They're trying to take a shortcut. They must have been, because I have no <laughs> idea what a little Mazda would be doing down this road. Right? Yeah, this is where it's saying to go. Gladly went up seven miles. <laughs> up this little desolate road. It would be at this point, I would feel like this is a bad idea, <laughs> little Mr. Mazda. Like, old King Fred's getting it. Dad, I have to stop you. You have a soccer game at 10? <laughs> what time is it? Like 8.15. Well, we got an hour and 45 minutes to get this off the mountain. Get back to Ephraim so Riker can go win a soccer game. So we better hustle. Then were they trying to drift? I think so. There's tracks all over like they were drifting. So that right there is the radio towers. So we, I know where we're at. We're just on the back side of it. We're just about to the pin and I think I can see his tracks. Oh, there it is. Look, <laughs> found it. We are literally on the only part of the mountain that is private property. So this is literally the only spot that's muddy. So let's go assess this thing and see what we gotta do to get it out. But the pin, the location was perfect. We really are, we're right on the back side of the radio towers. All right, this doesn't seem too bad. Let's see those keys. But this is a street car. <laughs> He must not have been able to make it up this hill, so he just pulled off or maybe slid off. I don't know. Search and Rescue came and rescued him on Tuesday, I believe. So we're here to rescue the car on Saturday. Are they all wheel drive? I don't know. Because he looks like he's been spinning it's just his front. Let's go ahead and turn the traction control off and see if we can get him out. Oh yeah, it's all wheel drive. <laughs> Well, I'm not really sure why we brought the tow truck, <laughs> but I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't know if maybe he didn't turn the traction control off. I have no idea. It's not my problem. I don't second guess people. You know what? We're here to rescue cars and that's what we're going to do. So I think King Fred needs to get out of the way. Let's see if we can crest this hill. What do you think, Greg? Was that too hard? Dad, you woke me up for this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll bring you on another on another good one. I didn't know. Even though little Riker thinks that this was too easy and he's upset, well, he's not upset, but he wonders why I woke him up for this. You know what? Any day I can go out in the open, in the mountains with my son is a good day. You're such a good little boy. Riker doesn't think I'm funny. We're gonna get up this hill. We're gonna see if we can do this without Fred's help. Fred is just the Uber in this situation. Wish us luck. Got any last words, Riker? He's a smart kid, throw a seatbelt on. All right, Colton, let's do this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It ain't much, but it's an honest day's work. Yep. You know, we accept the fact that not all recoveries are always hard or difficult, but they're always fun. We explored new territory, 
that we haven't ever been at. It's beautiful up here. It's a beautiful day. So yeah, I'm not complaining one bit. All right, so that was a lot easier than we planned on, but good news is we're gonna make it back in time for record game. So I'm glad it went quick and easy. All right, so we're gonna park the car here. I'm gonna let the customer know where it's at and he's coming to pick it up. So we're headed to the soccer game. And as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoy this video, go check out this one.